Greetings, my name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and today I'm back at Gear Gaming Bentonville with Robbie to do another tournament practice with my Thrawn build. And I'm going again with my the alterations I made to the original build I had and running this again. I, I really like the, the changes that were made. I think I like them and might probably stick with this, getting the third ship with the Kazanti and getting Riva Domain instead of Vontil on the Chimera. Today I'm facing off against a list that Robbie put together as a potential tournament list to go up against mine. And uh, it's going to be very durable and very difficult to get through his squadron swarm as well. Both of these lists are going to be squadron heavy, as you will see once we go over the fleets in mission, which is coming up next. For the Imperials, I am bringing Grand Anvil Thrawn on an Imperial 2 Star Destroyer with the Chimera title, and starting with Entrapment Formation, Reva Domain, Local Fire Control, Flat Guns, Advanced Projectors, Leading Shots, and XI-7 Turbo Lasers, a Quasar Fire 1 with Flight Controllers and Boosted Comms, and a Gazanti Cruiser with Comms Net. For Imperial Squadrons, I have Colonel Jenden, Merrick Steel, and five TIE Defender Squadrons. For the Republic Fleet, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi on a Venator 2 with Expert Shield Techs, Flight Controllers, Boosted Comms, Thermal Shields, and Ordnance Pods, and another Venator 2 with Expert Shield Techs, Flight Controllers, Boosted Comms, Thermal Shields, and Ordnance Pods. For Republic Squadrons, we have Anakin Skywalker, Plo Koon, Axe, three Y-Wing Squadrons, and three V-19 Torrent Squadrons. For missions, we both came in at 400 points and did a roll-off. Robbie won the roll-off and chose to be first player, therefore having to choose from my missions. And my missions are Advanced Gunnery, Planetary Ion Cannon, and Superior Positions. And Robbie chose to go with superior positions, which means he will set up all of his ships and squadrons first, then I will get to set up mine and counter to his. And any time damage is dealt when an attack is originating into the aft hull zone of an enemy ship, whether by ship or squadron, the attacker gains a victory token worth 15 points. Coming up next, Robbie and I will be deploying and then you will hear us discuss our strategy and tactics in the pre-game interview. Alright, so that you guys have seen the fleets in the mission. You'll see Robbie and I deploying here in a maybe sped up fashion. This is actually going to be a short deployment, as you know, based on the mission. Superior positions can be pretty quick, same as Solar Corona. So Robbie, why don't you go ahead and talk to me about your fleet? and your strategy for the game. <clears throat> As basically built around, I just was thinking with Obi-Wan Kenobi being able to reduce a damage, then putting expert shield techs on top of that, so it's two, then kind of what I thought on top of that is to put thermal shields, so it immediately cut your dice pool in half, or whatever you were shooting at, especially your front arc of your Chimera. Then I can reduce, and even if you got an accuracy out of your four, four dice that were left, that's still a dice I'm not getting damage from. So it's not too, it was just basically to mitigate your front arcs, but at the same time kind of rely on the squadron pushing ability, so I have every squad can be pushed. So I took two Venators, I just didn't feel the need to take a, uh, a Venator one, and I just loaded out on fighters. I put ordnance pods on both ships, to help win the squadron battle, so it'll be a blue or black, and then from whatever side I decide to use the pods, will be another black. So it's this list was built to strictly try to win uh, the squadron battles, as you know, try to go really try hard as possible to win the squad battles. I almost right. took a ruthless strategist um, to really focus it yeah. down. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I just was, I was just looking at that, and it just to me seemed kind of a wonky card. It seemed like because uh, I still think. You have what six tie defenders against? Well, basically, I took flight controllers, so everybody gets an extra dice to attack with. 
That'll um, help for sure. Yeah, so I'm going to definitely need that against the Tide Defenders, and I have Plo Koon to help give the Y Wings some shoot back, so I'll get a blue back with him within one, so it's going to basically give me four, hopefully four dice, and then I just like Anakin because he's a, he's kind of a, I don't know, he's a pain He's a pain. Of, he's a pain yeah, I, to deal with. The only way to stop him is to kill him. Yeah. And if you keep B-19s near him, that'll be very hard because they've got escort. Yeah. So, so and then the um, B-19s, um, I'm not overly thrilled with this craft. It's, it's okay. It's got five full. I don't like, for some reason, I just don't like the red and the two blue, but it's going to be red and four blue, I mean, uh, three blue, hopefully, and then I have yep. axe to mitigate, kind of act like a, a pseudo big ball to kind of try to mitigate that damage. Uh, if I spend a token, I can cancel one damage. Uh, so, you know, it's just uh, I was strictly trying to see how how far I could push the squadron game and to try to stop because the Venators, their one weakness is kind of their, I don't know, just their front arcs. I mean, they're they're okay, but they're nothing to, you know. Yeah, it's it's all purpose. It's not mm -hmm. like a focused yeah. front arc like the Ven One is. Yeah. So, so it's like keep them alive and keep them pushing squads. That was pretty much the build. Yeah, and you basically got. A couple tanks as your carriers, and then do have your squads be the primary pushers. Yeah. And with yeah. your ordnance pod, you could might even be like you said, do ordnance pods like maybe I mean flacking. <laughs> it could yeah. be a better option, yeah. you know, just to drop some defenders that might be on one health or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all have seen my uh, list before. I'm not going to go over it in detail again, and my thoughts behind it. But I will talk about my deployment and my strategy for this battle. Um, when Robbie chose to be first and gave me second, and he picked sphere positions, um, after I saw him deploy, um, as you guys are seeing there now, um, I decided I wanted to try to isolate each vendor in turn and uh, also stay away from the bombers for as long as possible. And basically try to defeat in detail Robbie's force. Uh, if I can keep his Venators isolated when I engage, then I think that'll be uh, um, advantageous for me, but if I let the Venators close on me together and they get to combine their squad output at the same time, that could be a problem for me. Even if it's just locking down my defenders and not letting them do bombing runs and actively going after the squads I want to go after. Like, if his V-19s get in my squad ball, yeah, they have five health, and they're not that deadly, but they're still locking me down, and I can't go after his Y-Wings. So I have to be very careful how I engage, despite, even though I have a speed advantage, if just one V-19 gets in the middle of my defenders, that could just slow me down for long enough for Robbie to get his Y-Wings in place. So That's my plan, to try to just uh, isolate and uh, defeat in detail, as the term goes. We'll see how it works out, though. And because Kenobi with thermal shields and expert shield techs, that is a lot of damage reduction. So my uh, pretty much effectively neuters the Chimera's front arc. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So coming up next, uh, Robbie and I will plan our dials, and then we'll be back at the start of round one. Start of round one. So here's my fleet in the corner. Everybody started at speed two for me. Starting with entrapment, because that's what my original is. No need to change it yet. No Thrawn dials this turn, of course. Got Merrick and Jendon up front. This nice painted model here. Robbie painted this, and Robbie is being very kind. To, uh, he's basically painting up my defenders and a lambda for me that I'll be taking to the tournament, so that'll be really awesome. He did a Really good job on this paint job. And you'll see that his entire Republic force is all painted up. Full paint jobs in all of his squads. And Anakin's in the yellow back there with Plo. And Axe is the red V-19. And Kenobi's flagship is the one on the left. And the Venator on the right is the one without Kenobi. Uh, Venator is a Navigate. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna slow down to one. The Negotiator, my brother-in-law Zach is like, why didn't they give the Negotiator title for Kenobi when the Venator came out? Yeah. <laughs> so we don't actually have Kenobi's flagship title yet. <laughs> okay, starting off with my Gazanti, it's a Navigate, taking a token and comms it over to Chimera. 
start fueling my fleet commands. Unnamed Venator. Okay, unnamed Venator. Navigate. That'll be close. Your shield dial might hit the asteroid, but it might not. Once you actually get it in there and click it in, you might be far, far, far enough back so you don't run over it. But it'll be close. <laughs> Yep, just short. Okay, going with Chimera to navigate, speeding up to three, getting an extra click at three from the dial. Alright, so and lastly my Quasar is to navigate. Taking a token on this, I'm staying at speed two, don't need any extra clicks yet. I'm just missing that asteroid field. And coming up next, it will be squad phase. We'll just be moving, and as usual, do that off screen, give you a recap at the start of round two. Round two, give you a recap here. We've got American Jendon on the left there, the remaining wide defenders just kind of staying in formation, staging a bit back. B 19s moved forward. As did the Y Wings, all shifting forward at their maximum distance of three. And I did switch over to take evasive action and activated it. And no Thrawn dial this turn, not activating any squads yet. Navigate. I'm going to speed two. I'm going to hit that no matter what, but let's see if it's more advantageous to slow down. If I slow down to one, I'm probably just going to get twice, aren't I? Probably. Uh, yeah. I've already locked it in, so looks like we're going to find out. Boom. Take a face up. Yep. You can't command squad. No, I don't think that even exists, but that'd be <laughs> okay. <laughs> Department fire, you cannot ready your defense. Oh, no. Wait, so I cannot use my defense tokens? You can't ready them, so if they're oh. exhausted, you can't flip them to green. Until, Until this is fixed. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that actually may be... Yeah, oh, that's actually... Not it's a nav, token, comps knighted over. So, it's going to be the standard cycle, getting an extra click at the two from take evasive action. Okay, I'm going to token that. Wow, when he plays it... He stays cool. speed one. Here's your bandager. Get yeah, that's a horrible, horrible <laughs> that, damage card to get right off the bat. That's pretty much right oh. there where my, it's going to like destroy my entire strategy. Yeah, that's just, Unless I decide, man, I feel like, man, that's I just to horrible luck. I'm going to try to get a structural over yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hey, okay, going with Thrawn on the Chimera, it's a Navigate, I will be using it. And I am going to take an Obstructed Pot Shot at the front of Kenobi. Uh, this will probably actually result in zero damage, but yeah, why not? So. Let's give it a shot. Actually, I think it's worse than that, because I think I have to gather dice. Okay, yeah, so... Well, what one is it? Is it declares? While defending, the attacker gathers dice, so this is what you're about to do. You may spend one brace token. If you do, choose to remove half of the dice, and the attack pull, pull rapid down. So it's after I gather dice. Okay, that's good. If it was before I gather dice, then I'd be really screwed. Um, Alright, so starting with four, obstructed goes down to three. And the thermal shield's brace brings it down to two because it is half rounded down. Okay. So two reds coming in. <laughs> um, one damage. And then I'll spend and that to either Kenobi or Expert Shield Text. They do the same thing, no damage. <laughs> okay, using my dial to slow down to two, getting an extra click at the one. And stopping on the station. Getting slight reprieve R and R for my crew. Ron knows that they need it right before the Okay, uh, Quasar, navigate, using it slow down to one. It's going straight, and I may hit this asteroid. I think my shield dial is going to go over it. I scooted it there. Yep, I did. So we both did our little asteroid shenanigans. Structural! <laughs> Great, on a Quasar. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. Lovely piloting to start. Um, probably just going to be movements, unless Robbie... Actually, I don't think there's even a possible way for us to engage. So squadron phase again will just be movement, and we'll be back at the start of round three. Start of round three. 
Thrawn squad dial has been revealed and reactivated to take evasive action. And my squadrons moved to the opposite side of Chimera. American Jindan in the middle there. And Robbie's Republic squads pretty much stayed where they were. They kind of shifted forward a little bit, but did not move too far forward. This is Kenobi. And you can use five, or I guess you want to just take a token if you don't want to activate it yet. He's taking a token. Taking a token. Can I be shut? I'll take some shots, but not medium range yet. You are medium, that was true. Okay. You would have, well, do have an obstructed medium range shot into Thrawn. Okay, so you get two red, two blue, and just need to take away one. Front to front. Take out, take out blue. Okay, two red and a blue. Okay. What else am I going to be taking? I will go ahead and grace and redirect that. And actually, this might be the best chance to do this. I'll go into salvo. I'm going to redirect to my port side one damage. So that goes down to two. Then I'll get two blue and a red. I have to take away one. I'll take away a blue. Wow, I'll keep that. Um, hmm. I'll just have to eat it. I'm gonna go straight What speed are you going at? I'm going speed two right now. With the Star Destroyer. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go with Thrawn. There's a navigate, and then use, and I'm gonna use the dial, and then using Thrawn's squad token. I do have a double arc into the side, clear line of sight, front to side, but it is obstructed. No obstruction from side to side, and that's the medium range shot going side to side. Close range for the front to side. First squad I'm gonna bring over is. Defender here on the far end. I'm just going to activate three, just a Defender, Merrick, and Jinden. That's a shame with him. Can't quite get to your rear arc. So I'll just take a shot into your side. And then Merrick and Jinden will come over and do a similar thing. And I'll just describe to that. And just so you guys know where Merrick and Jinden are, I guess they're coming over. And yet, Merrick and Jinden will be coming over as well before the shot is taken. Okay, so starting with the defender into the side, still full shields on this side. For one. Um, I'll just take it. Okay. So down to one. And uh, down to two. Two. Well, I'll just, I'll just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Two. So now bringing Merrick over. So Merrick coming in to shoot into the rear, and this is mainly just because superior position is trying to get some victory tokens. I'll just make that a crit crit. His ability there. And that was in the rear? Into the rear, yes. Okay. Let me saddle back. Okay. So you get a blue black. Shift down to zero. Blue black and demeric. Uh, two hits. Two hits, alright, I'll brace to one. So Merrick takes one and goes down to five. Brace, and then Jandon coming over, telling Merrick to do it again into the rear. And I might actually keep this accuracy. I am. I'm going to accuracy or redirect and turn that into a crit. You're, you're going to redirect, you're going to accuracy what? The redirect so you can't move it or cancel it with Kenobi. Yep. Uh, after you execute a maneuver at the speed on your dial, it's greater than one side of one damage. Just don't speed up and you'll be fine. And so that's two victory tokens for me on that sequence. And now we're going to start with my side shot side to side. And this is clear. There's two shields left on the side there. Two red, two blue. Uh, did you want to do your thermal shields yep. on this shot? 
No, 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 no. Okay, we'll save it for the big one? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good, and I will lock down the redirect. It'll be four damage. Brace to two. Uh -huh. So I'll just be shields down then. That's on this one? This yep. On this side? Yep, in this side, the port side. What this? Okay, so down to zero. Yep, down to zero. Yeah, we can do that later. Now for the big shots. I'm gonna, it's gonna be, oh, I didn't use my brace, so that's still. Did I use it? No, you I did. Didn't. Yeah, you braced it down to two. Otherwise. Oh, you, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll burn this yeah. to use thermal shields. Okay, so I'm starting with four red, four blue. And I have to take away one before the thermal shields goes off. So I'm going to take away a blue. So I have three red, or four red, three blue, and then you get to take away half of that rounded down. So what, three? Yep. I got three reds. Oh. All right, three reds taken out. So I now have three blue, one red, going into the side. No shields there, but severely reduced damage potential. Now, as it stands, you, you will only take one damage because you can Kenobi this with Expert Shield Tick. So I'm going to Leading Shots. See if I can't get a little bit better result here. I'm actually going to re-roll everything. My Leading Shots. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be the same difference. So I'm going to stop your redirect, stop your salvo, and just one damage face down. Hey, I'm staying at speed 2, and... I'm getting an extra click at the two from either the dial or take evasive action, which would be a ram. So my final position is this one here. It will not be a ram. And I might land on this defender. So we both take a face down, and then I land on the station and heal my face down. And then uh, you get to place this, not this defender, this defender you can place it. Um, get a squadron. Do some flanking first. Okay. Well, squadrons will happen first, and then you do flanking. Okay, so I got boosted comms, so everybody, I got everybody in range. Yeah, you can activate whoever you want. You can get up to five. You'll be able to flak the close range, these American Mist Defender, and then medium range, Jendon, when you do your flanking. So will that still be engagement range if I move these? Yes. Over here. I'm going to activate all four of these. So it is possible you could kill Merrick with just two, so let's just leave it there for now. And then you can decide what you want to do afterwards when going, doing your main gear of three squads. Two blue and a red to start. And then the flight controllers. Oh, I already rolled the extra red, so yeah. blue, sorry. Um, I'll stop the green one. Yeah, so we'll burn that. Go down to two damage that I've taken, so he goes down to three health remaining. And I was going to do two blue and a red, just so we can do the, the right order here, and then you add in the flight controllers after you roll. Nice, and then get a blue from flight controllers. And if you want, you can reroll with Swarm, because you now have a friend there. Some of you might be looking for an accuracy. <laughs> the dice got launched. <laughs> right, now we'll brace to two, go down to one health remaining. Bring out another uh, one health. Yeah, one health. All I have to do is just do one damage. Yeah, the flat could do it. Merrick, looks like is going to go down. All right. All right. So next we have Plo Koon. He's flying over right behind Merrick to attack the Defender, which is on six health. So, so starting with uh, was it three blue and a black? And let's just do three blue and a black first, and then be flight control adding in a blue. Yep. Add one blue. Then you have I think Plo's add at two, right? Yes. Yeah, so you can re-roll two dice. <laughs> what a shot. Uh, man, that defender goes down to one. I mean, that was maximum damage. Okay, so then 
Anakin and Green uh, White Wing Squad just moved up to the starboard side of Kenobi's Venator. Now he's got a couple flaks coming out. Okay, so, we got so you got blue, black, and Demeric, and into the, the regular defender. Both only one health, you just one damage. Demeric's dead, regular defender, dead, and then you get one blue dice at Jen. Oh, that's a block. Blue. Um, nothing. Okay. But Merrick goes down. That's huge. That's a large part of my firepower. It was very unwise of me to leave him hanging out there like that. Probably should not have jumped out where he could attack me in force. I'm going to be. Sonny, if he wants to slow down or not, he does have a nap token. Or even. I'm still in range to command everybody. Terrible. And I'm going to hit. Uh, yeah, the shield dial did hit the corner. So go back to one. See if you see if he's laying at the one without ramming. Yep. Anyway. Yep, so both ships take a face down, and then this vendor takes a face up. Uh, Thrust control malfunction of value of the last adjustable, so I just can't. I don't. I'm, I get the loot as well. Yep. We put Plo in here at the back corner. He's annoying, for sure. His V19s. Put one on the asteroid. That was a tough spot to be in. Mm -hmm. Stupid piloting. Kept me too close. Hey, same old thing. Navigate, token, comma send it over to Chimera. Extra click up to two from take place of action. Okay, going with my Quasar to navigate, and I'll be using it, and then using Thrawn's squad dial. So I've got these two defenders, this defender, then a defender I've already activated and moved. They're going to be moving over here to engage these squads. My first defender is in range of this V-19 and this Y-Wing to lock the Y-Wing down. I need to take him out first before I can go after Anakin, because he's positioned where I couldn't fit anywhere to attack Anakin while not being within escort range. This is Axe. So Axe is going to be able to use his defense tokens to reduce them. Alright, these are Axe's defense tokens, just so you guys can see um, if Robbie chooses to spend them to reduce damage. He reduces damage by one, I believe, which he stops when he spends it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. First defender coming in on that V-19, starting with two blue, two black. Three damage so far. Spend this. Yep, and then flight controllers. Alright, so that V-19 takes two. Okay, so my lone defender that's up there by himself on the left of Chimera is moving forward to the left side of the defender that I already attacked. Same V-19 I'm attacking. Three health remaining. And then flight controllers. Alright, three damage. Okay, so that V-19 goes down to one health remaining. Axe keeping him alive. Alright, so now for my back defenders. Okay, so the defender that's on the back, with his partner on the left, going after uh, the V19 again. He's going to the right of the squad that are attacking. I need two damage to get past the damage reduction. Got two, so no point in me spending that. The V19 did its job, and so did Axe do his job. Alright, so my last defender actually could not get anywhere to fit to attack anybody. So I'm actually going to send him over to uh, Kenobi's Venator to throw a shot into the back of Kenobi again. With the aft section, no shields there. Kenobi still has these. Uh, actually, well, I've already moved. But actually, think about it, this is actually kind of a waste. There's a hit. Yep, cancel damage. Yep, I should have just positioned him somewhere else. That's kind of not a smart move. I have to well. speed two at the dial, getting extra quick at the one with the dial. Just getting right nice and just almost kissing the shield dial of Chimera. Which I don't know why this got moved to three shields. All this wobbly stuff. Design flaw on these bases, man. All right, all that's left is squad phase, and Robbie has some to do. We have Axe that will be moving. He's not engaged with anybody. And we got uh, red and blue Y wings also move, also move. I'll show you where they go at the start of round four. Start of round four.
of round four. Another squad, squadron dial from Thrawn. And take a base of action, reactivated. Yellow and blue moved forward right behind Kenobi's Venator. And Axe just slid forward to engage all three of those defenders. Kenobi's flagship right here in the center has five health remaining. No shields on the port or rear. One shield remaining on the front. And then the unnamed Venator still has full shields, but two face-up damage cards taken from Asteroid Impacts. Kenobi with the squad command. He also has a squad token. So spring the, oh, sorry, spring the squad token. Alright, so you can activate six. A pretty big squadron activation. So before you start moving, everybody, I'm just going to take a picture, guys, of basically a wide shot showing where all his squads are. Since this is all going to be one at a time, he'll need to do and describe best as I can who's going where and doing what. Okay, we're going to start with Anakin. He's the yellow squad. Robbie is spending at one of his defense tokens to move right up touching the base of that defender that's right in front of him. He's basically just trying to make room for other squads to get into engagement range. All right, so we are, uh, what's Anakin's base? Three blue? So start with three. Nice start. And then flight controllers. And add up. Four damage, that defender's down to two. So that's one out of six. Next one. Yep, so you guys are seeing now the green V19 that's right behind the unnamed Venator is moving up as far as he can go, which is right behind Anakin to attack the two health remaining defender. So the green squadron, two blue and the red. And One so far, then flight controllers. Got it, mm -hmm. so that defender goes down. Axe. So Axe is activating next. Would it be better for the green to attack first to trigger Swarm or Swarm already triggered? Uh, swarm triggers is Swarm, all it matters is if another friendly squad is within range. You have plenty of squads that are in range of that defender. All right, so X so. is two blues and a red. Okay, he's going to attack the defender in the middle, you guys, in that triple squad there. So. Okay, and then flight controllers, that a blue. I guess, was that your Swarm? Yeah, that was my Swarm. Okay. okay. So one damage, defender goes down to five. I guess the green Y wing. That squadron. Two. Nice, and then flight controllers. Okay, and no rerolls for the white wings, so that still uh, puts that defender down to three health remaining. Mm -hmm. So Plo's going after the def the other defender that's off by himself in, in between the two venators. Okay, and then get to add in a blue flight controllers. Then add up two. Wow, Plo has been on fire. So that defender's down to two. Yep, so the red V19 that's behind the unnamed Venator, as you guys see there, is going over to join Plo to attack the lone defender that has two health remaining. My defender's getting picked apart. Uh, my my, uh, my Venators are not doing so much. Right, yeah. Uh, so it's a... Uh, Two blue, two blue and a red. Just need two damage. Uh, ooh, nothing yet. But you get flight controllers and then swarm. And just need one more damage. Got it. Man, defenders are dropping like flies. The Republic squads. I engage too soon, I think. Engage too soon. What now? Upside. So you get blue black on the two defenders that are remaining there. The one that's in the middle on your screen, guys, is three health. The defender on the right is full health. So three health one, takes one damage. And then, yep, next one. Takes one damage. And then I'll ordinance pods. Well, you get another shot somewhere. That's just your side art. Okay, so now I, now I take a shot at something else. Yep. Okay. Is that showing up something to worry about? Uh, Jendon, I mean, maybe. He can still do his ability, he just can't do it with uh, Merrick anymore. But he's currently being locked down by Plo, so he's kind of uh, right, in so a rough spot. I will, uh, everything to the start of the story. Okay, and this is actually a clear shot. Because I'm not being obstructed by the station, so front to front. 
the Chimera. Still full shields. I got one shield down on my port side. Disco dice. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Do you have any way to reroll anything? Uh huh. Alright, what are you locking down? I don't want down your subtle because... <laughs> yep. Now, right. brace and redirect like, like last time to my port. Port shields go down to one remaining. Okay. Now you can do your work as five. Okay. So what is the... Uh, I always forget the wording of ordinance pods. At the end of your attack step, you may exhaust this card to one of your hold zones, then perform an anti an attack from that hold zone with an anti squadron armament of one black dice. Even if you've already attacked from that zone this round. Yep, so you get those, hit those defenders again with one black. So it's over here, I've got a Yep. yep. Alright. First one. Another. Nothing. Second one. Okay, so. Middle defender's on two health, the far defender on the right on the screen, guys, is down to four health. I mean, would it even be worth it to go to zero? If you go to zero, you can't spend defense tokens. So I'd be pretty much be just taking full... you basically be, because then you wouldn't be able to do Kenobi, you basically just be saying, oh, yeah. kill me. <laughs> I mean, that's, what's, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Nate, you still, well, I guess you don't have a brace anymore because you burned it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna oh. ram. So I'll take so ram. You yeah. just take face down. Okay, I'm actually gonna go with my quasar because uh, I want the extra flight controller dice to help me with this squad battle that I'm losing horribly. Um, there's a navigate using Thrawn squad dial, and I am going to be then after my squads activate. I do have a clear medium range side to side into the venator, and then an obstructed front to front okay. into the venator. I'll be grabbing Jendon and my two defenders. Right over here, I have boosted comms, so I do have range to grab them. All right, we're gonna start with my defender that is on full health, or four health, I should say, engaged with Axe. He's the far defender on your screen. And this is what Axe has left, but Axe has not been attacked yet. So starting with two blue, two black, really good. It's actually really, really good, stopping your brace with that accuracy, and then we will do flight controllers. Okay, three damage, X goes down to two. And then the defender that is on two health will do the same thing. Just need three damage and I got it, so even with the brace. And then I'm gonna be moving that defender. I'll show you guys where he moves afterwards, guys. But he is going to be moving to get out of dodge right now, because he's on only two health. Then Jendon, could you check Plo's card? Is Plo every other? Or it blows if he doesn't have counter. Has um, he's friendly squadron without counter at distance one. Now does Clo, Clo have inbuilt counter? Yes, counter two. No, I'll still. Well, actually, hang on. I might have to attack the V19. Never mind. Jenden has to attack the V19. That is next to Clo because it's escort. Um, and the V19 will get one counter back because of Clo. Uh, Start with the double black. So two hits, and then flight controllers. <laughs> it's not a game with us here at Gear without dropping dice on the floor and have it bounce everywhere. So three damage on that guy, but you get to counter back one. Nothing, uh, you get swarm, close in range. So, still nothing. All right, so that V19 goes down to two health remaining. Uh, oh yeah, my shuttle, Jendon, no, he's heavy. He can't lock anybody down. Alright, so now we're going to do my side-to-side, -side, medium range, clear shot into Kenobi. I got his defense tokens there. No shields. Two hits. I have nothing to redirect to. Uh, you can re redirect to your front, but you've got Kenobi and Expert Shield Text. That's just no damage. Because, yeah, Kenobi, then Expert. Salvo. I guess I'll get one red. You get one red, one blue. Is that medium? Yep. One red, one blue. Two. Brace and redirect. Um, to my front, so front goes down to one. Then I'll do the front shot into the front of Kenobi. He still has one shield there. It's three blue, but obstructed, so down to one blue. And I will stop your salvo. Uh, and it's the front of the ticket. Yeah, so shields down on the front. Speeding up to speed three with my dial. I'm um, getting an extra click at the one with the dial, at the three with take base of action, and just uh, swinging around Chimera here. And you're 
So. Squadron. You take two Y wings. Left. You have two Y wings that are not locked down. Yeah, so they're both going to go after the defender. Defender. That defender has four health remaining. Yeah, you will require two to kill it. First one. Blue squad, blue black. And then flight controllers. So he goes down to three. And then red squad, blue black. And if flight controllers, one hit will kill him. God, so all my defenders, except one, have been wiped out. Oh my gosh. This is just insulting. <laughs> well, this was a, well, I mean, I that, that, was your, that was your game plan. So. I still got to survive that because everything else in the game has been conspiring against me. Right. Yeah, you're in close range. You'll get blue black against Jendon. Okay. Blue black. Blacking at Jendon. Uh, One damage. One damage, and then I'll use coordinates for Okay, go ahead and throw a black. One. So he takes two total down the four. All right, going speed two. You do have a nav token, so you can speed up and slow down. Slow down to one. Okay. And if I'm gonna hit plow on this V19 again, we're just gonna eyeball it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah, there we go. It's close enough. And so we'll just finish in yep. front of Jinden. Yep. Your shield out actually will go over him, so Jendon will bump a little bit as well. All right, so well, we'll just keep sending flow into the way back. Uh, V19, I might actually want to move up front here. No, I don't. That's just stupid. V19 back, Jendon on the front. Okay, we are gonna go with Thrawn. It's a navigate. Uh, just in case, actually, I'm gonna use the Thrawn squad dial. Take a token. Just in case I need it later. And we are going to start with a front to front into Kenobi, see if I can't just end him, and then decide what I do, want to do with my side arc. Probably start working on the other venerator. Right. So, front to front, this is clear. Be four red, four blue, no shields on the front, four health remaining for Kenobi. They like all those accuracies. <laughs> We're very accurate, sir. We didn't hit anything. <laughs> yeah. We're just too busy aiming than the red that I dropped. All right. And then, I mean, obviously leading shots is going to happen. We're going to use these accuracies to... We're going to leading shots. I might just need one more damage. And got it barely. But Kenobi does go down. Okay. And then I will do an obstructed shot side to front into your other Venator. He has full shields, but no longer gets Kenobi's benefit because Kenobi has been dropped. We still have expert shield tags. Uh, so I get uh, two blue and a red on my salvo, or not my salvo, not <laughs> my attack. Uh, I'm going to take out a red. So two blue and a red. I'll just keep that. You can only redirect one because of my XI7s, or you could just reduce damage by one. You can reduce damage by one. Okay, expert shield tech, so take two on the nose. So front shields go down to two. And so back, you get red, blue, red, blue, black, and you have to just get rid of one of them. Get rid of the red. Blue, blue black. That's my side. Yep, I'll just redirect that using my advanced projectors to disperse it. Take one on the back, one on my starboard, one on my front. Huh. I just realized I could have used Reva Domain there. Remember to do that with Reva. Well, I forgot. Okay, now I'm just going to hard turn, staying at two, click at the one from the dial, click at the two from take evasive, and landing on this hornet nest. 
that was the squad ball, so you get to place all five of those probably at the base of my ship. Take on with my Gazanti to navigate, same thing. Token, I'm sending it over to Chimera, and I am going to ram here. I kind of misjudged my placement, that's okay. We're going to do a turn at the one for an inside turn. That's just so that I can then land here. And then you get to place this defender, Robbie. That has two health remaining. My last defender. And that's it. There's no more squads. Um, all squads have been activated, so we'll be back at the start of round five. Round five, uh, basically just for the heck of it, last squad dial <laughs> is Thrawn, I'll just reveal it. Take evasive action has been activated, I only have two squads left, Jendon and a defender on two health. I have been absolutely brutalized in the squad game, but I was able to take down Kenobi. It is round five. Uh, for my own thing, I don't know if I have enough time to take down this last Venator and the right angles to do so. And then for Robbie, he's also in the mind that uh, he's already kind of revealed what his command's going to be. Uh, these squads will not be active this round, unfortunately. Engineer, I get four, so I'll get rid of compartment bar. Refresh my token. So you'll be able to refresh those next round for the final round. Yeah, currently his redirect and his salvo are in an exhausted state. Um. Going to flat. Alright, Jenden, did you want to take a shot at my chimera? Yeah, I'll take I'll take a side shot. Okay. But first I'll I'll fly up or which one do you do first? Well, well, whichever you, one you want. I'll yeah. fly first. Okay. Can we just do it here? Now we'll go to the tray. Start with the flat, blue black. Race to one, so Jenden goes down to three. And then we'll oh, yeah. wait on ordinance spots that happens after the full combat has happened. And then you'll get two blue and a red, because Venator 2s get the same side shots as uh, Imperial 2 Star Destroyers. Basically, because this Venator 2 is my dad. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you were my pop. Oh, wow, that's very accurate. Wow, oh my goodness. Uh, you can still use these. How? You can still spend these accuracies. I would want me to stop. Uh, get Stop everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because if you didn't, I would salvo you. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Stop. So even even stop. though even stop. though you roll all accuracies, I still can shoot you back. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And now you can do ordinance spots on Jinden. Oh. Speed one. Oh yeah, I can't turn because of the. Uh, oh man. So Your crits that you got on this venator are just brutal. Mm -hmm. Am I locked down? Uh, no. There you go. Now you're locked. Did you hit the station? No. That would have been definitely helpful for you. Okay, going with the camera. It is a navigate. I use my Thrawn squad dial. <laughs> Why not? Basically, just take Jendon, and I'm just going to move him to barely touch the station here to heal one damage to go up to four. Um, I'm actually not even going to throw a bombing shot here because you could just salvo me. Although, maybe I will. No, I take that back. I'm going to do a quick bombing shot with Jendon and then move, because he can attack, then move. And then I've got either front to side or front to rear, that's clear, and then a side to side um, with the Chimera, which I will be doing. Alright, we'll start with a shot uh, into the front from Jendon, one blue. Jendon has three health remaining, so a hit. Okay, and then I'll do that move I showed you guys with Jendon. He gets healed up to four. And we are going to start with the side shot, two blue, two red, full shields on this side. Do you want to do thermal? Just leave it. Four damage. Okay, so just shields down and one and one face down. And I will then go ahead and then do my front into your side since there's no shields there. So 
We want to do thermal. Yeah. What do you want to, me to get rid of? Four reds. Four reds. So no reds. Let's see four blues coming in. Brace you can't use. I really don't care if you salvo me. If you burn your redirect, you won't have it for next round. Thinking if I want a leading shots, one of these. I'm just not worried about it. I am going to leading shots, reroll the accuracy. Actually, I'm going to reroll everything. I think I might get a crit. I'll take that. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to spend your contain no matter what you do. Yeah, so it's face down. Yeah, if you do nothing other than the contain, you'll be taking three face down. So what you, about brace? I braced. Him. Yeah, you, you, well, you already braced with thermal shield, so you can't and spend the brace. Redirect two. You can only redirect one because I have XI seven. Okay, so we'll okay, so one on the shield and then two face down. Yeah, the front's actually down because Jenden did damage and you just took it. I don't think we moved the shield. Yeah. Alright, and then two face down. It's thermal shields, man. They saved you. Huge. Not giving me those red dice. Dial speed up to three. Extra click at the one from the dial. Extra click at the three from take evasive. Getting away from these squads. I don't want to take any bombing in the squad phase. As best I can. And I did land on plow. I'm going to be able to place plow. Just run on my back there. Are. So now if you, I'm not using the Thrawn dial, this defender's just going to run in the squad face to get him away. And then Quasar was just out of range to do some medium range shots at the Venator. Sliding over, doing the standard multiple clicks with Take Evasive and the dial. And we'll keep it here for my Gazanti. My Gazantis say Concentrate Fire. And I'm actually going to comsnet that over to the... Quasar. And then do this. Actually, we're just going to do a little inside turn here. Like so. Alright, squad phase. This is going to be a bunch of movement. Um, although, Robbie will get a couple shots on me real quick. I'm just going to move my defender, slide him back. That's not. That's out of order. It's not going to matter. But the two shots that do matter is that Plo, if you want, so you can have Plo and this V19 take shots. Chimera, plow into the back, V19 into my side. Did you want to do those? And, yeah. and not move them? Yeah, plow into the back. Okay, so plow into the back. Is he just a blue? Yeah, I'm using an adept. Adept, yeah. Oh. Is adept to matter? Uh, no, it's just one reroll. So, hang on, I am going to sabo that. My double black flak. Flat guns. Two hits. Scatter. Okay. Thought I'd do it just for V19. Not. I should have saved for V19. That was stupid. Um, I'll spend a redirect to advance projectors that to my front. Can I hit the bat? Could I have targeted uh, the bat? No, you don't have line of sight. You're crossing okay. my line. But actually, let me double check that. I was just assuming. No, you I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not in range. Uh -uh. Well, you're in range. It's just a matter of the. Uh... Actually, you are. So you get a victory token. I still get to do the same redirect to the front with my advanced projectors. And... Yeah, that was a mistake on my part to, to salvo that flow. Oh well, uh, the rest of it's going to be movement, guys. So uh, I'll show you where Robbie moves all of his Y-Wings and Anakin to prep for the final round, round six. Five or round six. I mean, you guys see what's on there. This spent this uh, V19 came over this way, but the majority, all the Y Wings and Anakin, they have moved into the rear of the Chimera in preparation of a squad command from the Venator 2 to do a whole bunch of bombing runs into the aft of Chimera and get victory tokens and to start stacking those up. And then I swapped with Chimera to intensify firepower, then discarded it to activate intensify firepower. Alright, Vendor 2. Will this be obstructed if I fly? Yeah, be obstructed. You get you'll get one dice. And I can't use my witness pods. No, because that you would be it would 
reduce the... So each time I hit you in the back, I get a victory token. Yeah, so I score damage. Yes. Potentially, uh, based on with five activations, you get five victory tokens. 75 points. It is a squadron command, right? Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's squadron. Yeah, squadron command. Squadron command. So, you know, the health of my Chimera has 10 health remaining because I did get a ram. And I have two, two, one, and one as far as my shields. Alright, starting with Anakin. Add up. Sorry, that's me. Okay. Um, I will just take that on the shield so shield's down, but you get a victory token. So it's one. Yep. Um, blue uh, wing. One. I will redirect it to my uh, port side, so port side shields down. Next white wing. Red. One. It's regular. I will also redirect that to my front, so front shields down to one. Green. One. And I will. Burn a redirect, send that to my starboard. Starboard shield is down to one. So that was four activated, got one left. Yep, and you get four victory tokens because that was all damage that originated in the aft section. And could Plo get to him? Oh, Plo's not going to be able to get to that lane, though. No, not even close. Plo can just throw a shot in the back, get another victory token. And, uh, yeah, so Plo takes Yep. One. Yep, I'll just take that one face down. And so five victory tokens. Okay, so we get those out of the And correct. Yep, so he's gonna do aft to the side of the chimera. I have one shield left there and one shield on my front. I will stop your saddle. Okay, I'll just take it on the shield. And that's speed one. Okay, starting with my Gazanti, it is a concentrate fire, and I do have a clear yellow dot to yellow dot into the side of the Venator with that has no shields on that side. Okay, so starting with one blue, and then con firing in a blue. I'll see it there, Patriot. Yeah, Venator currently has six health remaining, taking three damage. Okay, two face down. Did you want a salvo? You get uh, blue red. As well. Blue red. Next up, Max. Yeah, Stay tuned, doing a little inside turn here, like so. Slightly further in. Real quick with Quasar, it's a navigate just going off from the sunset here. It's flying away. So, pretty sure Venator is going to live. Uh, he is just out of my front arc. It's like just going right down the line here. So, it's just going to be a side shot at medium range. I don't even think it's statistically possible for me to take you out because you have thermal shields. But uh, we'll, we'll throw the shots anyway, just see what happens. Alright, did you want a thermal? What are you taking out? Two reds. Alright, two blues. Turn this into a hit with intensify. Two damage. One. Yeah, one is on the shield and one face down. And that is it. I'll go to move the Chimera. So, uh, just moving at speed three, just getting away from the V19 that could possibly get another shot. The other squad moves don't matter, no one's going to attack, so we're just going to tally up the points. This actually will be close, because Robbie just got 75 points worth of points uh, with the victory stuff. Uh, and I guess I just did, got an extra one from attacking your rear with my shot. Oh yeah, yeah that's where you got one. Yeah, we did a little test, actually, that if you hadn't barely gotten out of uh, the uh, my front arc, um, even with thermal shields and all rolling forward blue, I got the four damage, which is exactly what I needed to kill him. Yeah. So just, Razor's thin edge of getting out of that front arc saved the Venator 2's life. So we'll tally up the points when we'll be back at the post-game interview.
right, guys. The final score came down to Robbie scored 175 points and I scored 225 points. Which I think it's incredible to score 175 points without killing a ship, yeah. which is crazy. <laughs> and uh, that's only a 50 point margin of victory, so that's still just a 6 5. That's two basically ties mm -hmm. we've had in a row now doing this tournament practice. And because again, for those of you guys who don't know, in tournament play, uh, Robbie would go on with five points and I would go on with six points here. Mm -hmm. um, not a major victory or a major loss either way. Still a very close game. So, uh, Robbie, what are your uh, thoughts on how the match went? Uh, well, I set out to do what I accomplished, and that was to dominate the squad pre game. <laughs> yes, you did. Um, and it's just this black controllers with the Y wings, because I was thinking with Y wings, you get the next for blue, so it's two blue and a black. And then everybody, Clo Clune probably was my MVP because he just decimated. Oh, his two attacks, man, he decimated each defender he yeah, shot. So he re yeah. wrecked them. I think he resp was responsible for like eight, eight damage, and then one damage. No, nine back, actually. Nine, and then the Star yeah. Destroyer. Uh, yeah, Flo was definitely MVP for just <laughs> soloing defenders. Yeah, <laughs> it was just. Um, I think at the end it was just mi not misplacement, but it was. Um, that you sweeping on the edge and isolating Kenobi by himself had uh, uh, it really hurt. Um, it, it, but uh, uh, mission accomplished in terms of objective. That was what, what I was going, uh, setting out to do, which it was. Um, I don't think this list is um, the list is strong, but I don't think it's anything competitive. Just because, it, it, like you saw with the beginning, when I got the crew compartment fire, it totally threw everything. Uh, in chaos, uh, the other star destroyer. I mean, the other Ven uh, Venator was just. Um, I don't know. That was just a really weird. Because like you were saying in the match, it would have been better just to get a structural at that point. Yeah. Take the two. Uh, yeah, because just we played mind games with you. Because you decided to play an engineering in your dial pool instead mm -hmm. of just staying with squads. So. Yeah. The, and it came up at the exact moment you wanted squadrons because mm -hmm. then yeah. you could have gotten two full rounds two of full rounds bombing of bombing me. So. Yeah, and so if I, eh, I don't know if I would have, um, I don't know, yeah, it was just, that was enough to just really throw that, in, uh, a wrench into that, and then the, um, uh, Kenobi, uh, just, uh, you did what you were supposed to, isolate him, put him out by himself, and kind of whittle away down him. I uh, will say, also, those, uh, the, the, the thermal shields are nasty. Yeah, absolutely, well, that saved your, that saved you. If yeah. you didn't have thermal shields, I think... I'd kill both Venators by turn three. Yeah, that was... the amount... I mean, the thermal shields on the side shots, not the big one, but dropping me from eight dice down to four. Four blue. And you can pick the ones you want, so you just drop all the reds. Not even give me the yeah. chance of double damage. Yeah, I was and, doing it, the and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Nothing I can do about it. I was it. doing the math because I think the blue's only worth about point seven five damage. So by taking out all your reds... And, um, and that's still huge because... Even with reds have blanks, I have leading shots, so I'd be able to spend a blue and re-roll the reds. And it, right. But taking out the reds, I have no option. It just completely negates the I mean, firepower. Yeah, it's just like being shot at by basically a quasar. Quasar, yeah. Straight fire. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> it, it just, it, it, uh, I can see why the thermal shields are going to be really devastating to a lot of fleets, but if you have a lot of like adding dice, yeah. Um, it was that's how you get around it yes yeah, stuff that adds dice after you roll yeah, yeah so yeah put your dice in after then it really it's not as big a deal but still taking out every time it's like yeah, let's get rid of the red um, that is so it, it's gonna be hard it's brutal yeah absolutely brutal. that may be kind of what your fleet's weakness is gonna be is if somebody takes thermal shields yeah if I see thermal shields across the table a lot I'm gonna be in in trouble because that's yeah. just neuters yeah, the entirety same. of my st uh, Star Destroyer. Yeah. And it's one of those I just kind of have to maybe try and play to where I get them to burn through the brace quickly. Mm -hmm. So later in the game I can hit them full power. But that never really happened. Mm -hmm. um, except the shot that killed Kenobi, it did. But mm -hmm. by that point, you knew he was going to be dead anyway, so it didn't yeah. matter. I, I, I just, yeah, it was frustrating because I feel like I didn't get to use Kenobi as much with Shield Tech because that reducing two damage. 
it just it was weird. It was like a, a that one critical at the beginning hitting the asteroid that definitely kind of threw me off, <laughs> threw me off my entire game. And I was just, uh, I think that it just totally because I really was arg arguing with myself, should I put an engineer in there? Because not being able to refresh your tokens is just devastating. Like, yeah. I may as well, yeah. like I said, that actually. I don't know what's worse, that or structural damage, because, uh, yeah, with that, it's just brutal to not be able to refresh anything yeah. on that, and it's just, yeah, um, it was a fun list, but um, I don't know, I'd be interested just to see what modifications, maybe maybe someone's got a list out there with a double venator and uh, uh, maybe something like a Pelta, I don't know. Um, but it was, uh, I, I really liked it, enjoyed it. Like, I especially like dominating <laughs> first game, being oh, able to dominate. Uh, shredded me. Yeah. I, I played my squads very poorly, and my overall strategy worked, and now it's just coming around the corner and just mm -hmm. engaging your Venators one at a time. So mm -hmm. that worked, but my mm -hmm. squad strategy was very poor. This is the same game in a row now where I've overextended my defenders, especially Merrick, and just... I put him out there, and yeah, I got two shots into your rear, I got two victory tokens, and then you just came in and just yeah, slaughtered yeah. him. Yeah, well, the ordinance like, oh, What yeah. the ordinance I'm just... I just don't... I need to be... I've got to be more careful, especially when I see a strong squad presence opposite me. I just let you dictate. I'd sent my defenders in, and then you just had a full capability to come in and just wipe mm -hmm. them out. And mm -hmm. should have been much more cagey with them and allowed me to jump in and attack you while you weren't ready for it. So mm -hmm. I was way too aggressive with my defenders. And yeah, yeah. well that was kind of what I was hoping would happen, is they could come in and then I could start ordnance potting and then flecking, which worked. And um, Plo doing Plo <laughs> 5 doing damage amazing. and 4 damage yeah, on his Plo attacks. Oh my gosh. Going in. <laughs> this, I think this was the first game where I really saw what the Jedi are truly just making oh, to be a force. Jedi and Aether Sprites, I tell you what, they're, they're like the defenders for the Republic. Mm -hmm. You're getting three blue and a black, and if you're doing flight controllers, that's another blue. Mm -hmm. And you're getting inbuilt rerolls. Even mm -hmm. the generics have add up to one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah. It, it's incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I really toyed around with putting Ahsoka in this list as an officer so I could let the Y Wing snipe from the back. Oh, but, yeah, um, so that way they don't get locked down. Yeah. And move off well, the even bomb. if they did, I can just like artillery fire at your yep. defenders and yep. just. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's a fun list to tinker around. And this is nothing I think is going to be competitive, but it was definitely a hard counter. Um, I don't know where to go with this list. Uh, it was it was fun. Um, I really liked Kenobi being able to. I wish I could have used him more rounds, but it is what it is. So. Well, I mean, one thing you could potentially do is, uh, if you want to keep the Ven 2s, great, but you could actually get close to the same squad activations if you go to Ven 1, put a spot on there, yep, and switch two. to Yularen mm -hmm. mm -hmm. as your Admiral, where your token squad tokens begin to give your yeah, will count as that. two squads. Yeah. So that way you actually have the battleship then one, carrier then two, and then you have then you could actually I think might be able to fit a Pelta or a Consar that can do like feed squad tokens to the Ven two mm -hmm. so that it can actually get the Yularn benefit and just do all squads off one ship. That was the second list I toyed with was putting her yeah, and just refreshing back and forth, refreshing yep. back and forth tokens. That would that would be pretty and then um Maybe, oh, Axe, Axe did pretty good. He, he kept, um, he kept... Oh, Axe was fantastic. He, yeah. he, for, he made me have to waste three defenders to kill one V-19. I mean, are you kidding me? And, three yeah. defenders to kill one V-19? And then come in and finish up with the Y-Wings. And, and then the Y-Wings were able to come in and then fit and chew those defenders to pieces. Because yeah. I, it was just, I was not, ex yeah, yeah. Axe was actually, he only did his thing once. But it forced me to waste defenders... Mm -hmm. On a 12 point V19. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. just, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's going to be. Um, to I'll have to toy around with the list. I, I don't think it's anywhere optimal right now. Uh, because if I, if I didn't have those wild wings, your, your tight defenders, they probably still would have been locked down for quite a while. But there's no way I was going to be able to trade forever with um, the Simon. Yeah. Uh, I would have been, I would have run out of time and it wouldn't have been. So I don't know. Well, um, I'm interested because, like, the, like the list you're talking about, putting her as the admiral. Um, what was her name? Or Yularen. Or Yularen. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that would be just constantly yeah. refreshing everywhere. Yes. Uh, that would be a nightmare to have to deal with, to constantly deal with somebody refreshing all the time. 
So, um, yeah. are you thinking of Luminara that can refresh your Luminara, defense targets? Yeah, yeah. So. I was thinking, yeah, yeah, Luminara. You're thinking of Luminara. Yes. No, yeah. she's. That's one where you can, if you're still going defensive, and you just say, "I'm only going to spend one defense token every time I get mm -hmm. shot," you can then just start alternating and alternating. rotating the tokens that you're refreshing yeah. and using. That, so. may, that may be something I'm looking at. Putting Luminara and then yeah, putting Officer Slot. Yeah, then yeah, you could. I don't know. Well, um, maybe. Find some way. I just I like running two venators. <laughs> no, I'm saying here. I love that's when I play Republic. That's probably gonna be my primary. I don't know if I'll ever be able to play a list without two venators, just because yeah. they look so good on the table yeah. and they just work so well together. But it, so. it um, yeah. I, at least I set out what I was my mission accomplished. The spoiler battle was one. Right. But um, um, you just have to look at, tweak some stuff around and mess with the list. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And then for the question, um, just as always with the tournament practice and tournament prep, bat reps, just comment on the battle itself, the lists that were brought, the strategies enacted, give your advice on tournament play and, and how it could have gone better or worse, um, etc. That's just going to be the generic question for all the tournament prep battles. And for the month of July, uh, we've got basically an option. We're going to Garrett and I were trying an option um, giveaway. We're doing going back to the store credit, fifty dollars store credit, or a recusent um, expansion. So that is also being provided by Garrett Vance. So whoever is going to be the winner of July, that I'll be announcing on August first, will then have the choice of doing a fifty dollars store credit to Admiral Tater or gaining the recusent expansion. And depending on how how that goes, we might actually continue that in the future, having like the option on the giveaway. So. Com those comments below that'll enter you in for the July giveaway. And Robbie, thanks for the game. It was really good. It was close. It was uh, learned a lot of things about my list and what not to do. And thank you guys for watching. Keep giving me advice and critiques. And until next time, take it easy.